In my administration, I'm going to enforce all laws concerning the protection of classified information. There were documents found in the bathroom, in the shower, in the ballroom, in his bedroom, in his office. That there were documents pertaining to our nuclear programs, pertaining to our weaknesses and our allies' weaknesses. Um, what makes us vulnerable? Clearly, a national security risk. You have pictures of them. So, if Hillary actually does get rid of things, here we go. This has nothing to do with it Hillary has, Clinton. It no, it doesn't. To do with if it. you want to argue and you want to talk about again the difference between gross negligence and extremely careless, a lot of people will have that conversation. But today, you are looking at boxes of classified documents strewn across a public place, also that were transported to another location, even to the point, who, whoever the family member who texts, I won't be able to fit all the boxes on the plane. Whatever shall we do? Damn! The wake of the bombshell announcement that former President Trump was indicted on 38 counts, Fox News meltdown was imminent. And all the classics were rolled out and engaged in the same whataboutism. The documents that were panning across the screen, that there were documents found in the bathroom in the shower, in the ballroom, in his bedroom, in his office. That there were documents pertaining to our nuclear programs, pertaining to our weaknesses and our allies' weaknesses. Um, what makes us vulnerable, clearly a national security risk. What has been proven time and time again when it comes to this particular case is that Donald Trump and all of his supporters have been lying to us about what happened. So first he went with everyone, everything was declassified because he's magic and he could look at things and they become declassified. Now he's on tape admitting the fact that he's showing people, Mark Meadows' his team when he's trying to do the book, a document that was still classified and that he knows that he doesn't have the power to declassify it anymore because he's no longer president. He said they were properly secured. I don't think a toilet is a skiff. Maybe I'm wrong. Better than a Corvette. Yeah. Or Here you go. Misdirection. Misdirection. That's Just not take. Yes, it That's is. The whole because point. no, it's not. Because in the B block, we'll talk about Ukraine, and then I can hear about Viktor Shokin all over again. He also said that he complied with everything. We know he flouted subpoenas, and now we know that he asked his lawyers to get rid of things. It seems, and yes, I, I'm not a lawyer. But I'm decently smart. I know some viewers don't necessarily think that, but I'm telling you, and a few of my teachers would agree, <laughs> that this seems like a pretty clear case of obstruction. And Jonathan Turley's been on our air all day talking about this and saying that these charges are the darlings of what they're looking for because they are easy to prove, especially when you have pictures of them. So if Hillary actually does get rid of things. Here we go. This has nothing to do with it Hillary has, Clinton. It does. No, it doesn't. It does. If you want to argue and you want to talk about, again, the difference between gross negligence and extremely careless, a lot of people will have that conversation. Huh. But today, you are looking at boxes of classified documents strewn across a public place, also that were transported to another location, even to the point who, whoever the family member who texts, I won't be able to fit all the boxes on the plane. Whatever shall we do? Come okay, on, Katie. Katie. This is all over Presidential Records Act, which is a civil, civil suit, a civil issue. And so what they do is they put out this narrative indictment. Oh, this is a story of wrongdoing, national defense. And let's put in espionage. We can kind of tie it into the Russian collusion. So people will say, oh, it could have been the Russians. This is nonsense. And I want to know how many documents were altered? How many documents were destroyed? Zero. Zero. But who destroyed 33,000 documents that she lied about over and over again, Hillary Clinton. She destroyed them. That was tampering with evidence. That was obstruction of justice. And did the DOJ, the FBI care? They didn't give a damn. But now they care. What are they so afraid of? Let him run for office. And if he loses, then that's the end of it. I hate a country that is akin to a third world country. This is a banana republic. When you indict one guy running for president and the guy who's doing it is some old geek who says, you know what? I don't know anything about it. The day, by the way, the day that we finally get under threat of contempt of the head of the FBI. But across the board, what seems to have been missed is something that Jack Smith himself outlined to process. Because if the meltdowns are anything to go by, they're already asserting guilt. No, it is an extremely damning indictment. Uh, you know, there are indictments that are sometimes called narrative or speaking indictments. These are indictments uh, that are really meant to uh, make a point as to the depth of the evidence. There are some indictments that are just bare bones. This is not. 
uh, the special counsel uh, knew that there would be a lot of people who were going to allege uh, that the Department of Justice was acting in a biased or, or politically motivated way. This is clearly an indictment uh, that was drafted to answer those questions. It's overwhelming in detail. Their fear is telling, telling as these images of boxes everywhere. Uh, that's the bathroom. That's another example. That's another example of what we're talking about. But on this specific part of the indictment, uh, these documents that are only supposed to be seen with those countries that the United States relies on for intelligence, uh, the most important intelligence that deals with not just national security for the United States, but for the United States' allies. And so this is not just an issue for within uh, the borders. There it is. That's the, fo that's the photo that this part of the indictment is referring to. So it's not just the intelligence and national security of the United States. You have allies around the world looking at this, these photos, looking at this indictment and saying, this is putting our... From ballrooms to bathrooms, storage to bedrooms, I mean, what did this man think was going to happen? 10. They describe how Walt Nauta was one of the people who helped him pack up his boxes. The boxes went from the White House. They contained classified information to the Mar-a-Lago Club. But they say from January through March 15, 2021, some of those boxes were stored in the Mar-a-Lago Club's white and gold ballroom. Mm. They have a picture of it. This, so class boxes with classified documents in a ballroom where they quote, had events and gatherings taking place. They were for a time stacked on the ballroom stage as depicted in this photograph. And they obscured the person's identity. They appear to have taken a picture yeah. with these boxes. I mean, that is a stunning detail that our classified secrets were in a ballroom no in question. Southern Florida. And Let's be real for a second. The fact that he felt he could just have all these boxes lying around freely without impunity is telling of the very privileged bubble that surrounds him. Of course, he thought he could do what he wanted with documents, give the feds a run around and emerge unscathed. This man's entire life has been an example of how the law is redlined for the wealthy. More often than not, get away with it. The president goes on to say, well, what if we, what happens if we just don't respond at all to the subpoena, I guess, or don't play ball with them? The president goes on to say, wouldn't it be better if we just told them we don't have anything here? Well, look, isn't it better if there are no documents? Uh, you know, they, they've got these conversations that were memorialized by the president's attorneys. There's also this recording of him where he talks about this plan that's believed an attack plan against Iran. I mean, they've got a lot of information in this. When he became president, he put himself into a different category, one with added scrutiny. The men and women of the United States intelligence community and our armed forces dedicate their lives to protecting our nation and its people. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical to the safety and security of the United States and they must be enforced. Violations of those laws put our country at risk. Adherence to the rule of law is a bedrock principle of the Department of Justice, and our nation's commitment to the rule of law sets an example for the world. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. Applying those laws, collecting facts, that's what determines the outcome of an investigation. Nothing more and nothing less. Hey Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.